the sky is the limit. They've got a lot of a lot of balls in the air. This Nintendo does coming into this show. We got Smash Bros. character announcements. We could be seeing. We got Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild two. We got Bayonetta three, Metroid Prime four, Metroid Prime trilogy, Mother three localization. Let's get crazy. F Zero, the uh, rumored Donkey Kong game that the Odyssey team is working on. There are so many balls in the air that we could see the fruition of to the fruits of labor of today. But then again, we could also just see like, oh, uh, like Arms Two. And nothing against Arms; it was a fun game, but like bases are loaded. You know they got. The the pitcher's tired. Nintendo's pulling up to the plate. You know they got their their uh, tried and true slugger in their hands. They're ready to hit that grand slam. And anything less than that, frankly, well, you know, be acceptable. But you know, it's the bases are loaded, and everyone knows the bases are loaded. So there's a lot riding on today. There's a lot we could see today. I went live 15 minutes early instead of 10 minutes because there is so much to talk about. And I want to talk about the main thing I want to see today, which is obviously, I think what everyone wants to see today, which is the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It was announced what well, feels like years ago. Um, the, the first game came out in 2017, the Lin- ugh, Switch launch title. Um, it's been a, a hot minute since that came out. I think it is time. I know there were rumors of the Switch Pro, how it should have been announced before this show, how Breath of the Wild 2 was going to be the premier launch title for the Switch Pro to usher in the new age of Nintendo hardware. Um, but considering we have not seen the Switch Pro yet, and that they are specifically stating in this presentation right here on the screen that you can see in front of me, that they are focusing exclusively on Nintendo Switch software, mostly releasing in 2021, um, that tells me we're probably not going to hear about the Switch Pro. But the fact that they are specifying that they are focusing on, on hardware leads me to think that they know we know about the Switch Pro and that it is, in fact, a thing that is happening. They're just not talking about it today. Um, I feel like that is a giveaway that a, 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 a small, a small, a small giveaway that they are indeed working on the Switch Pro. Um, Breath of the Wild 2 is a game that we know nearly nothing about aside from some small story details. Um, you know, there's a new design for Princess Zelda. Um, Ganon might be in the picture this time around. But other than that, we don't know. We don't know if there are going to be any dramatic changes to the land of Hyrule. We don't know what gameplay changes this this will have. We don't know if this is literally just a straight, direct sequel to Breath of the Wild, where it's literally the same game, just with some new stuff here and there and a new story. We don't know what to expect from Breath of the Wild 2, but I do have some hopes and dreams for it. Um, I feel that what they've shown already, which is the, the trailer where Ganon wakes up and something crazy is going on. I think there is going to be some dramatic change um, to the land of Hyrule. I think at the beginning of the story, there will be some sort of fundamental change to the land of Hyrule that will change it. So it is technically the same Hyrule we explored in the first game, but remixed. Um, maybe some areas are flooded. Maybe some areas have lava. Maybe, you know, maybe some areas are spilling more into other areas. We don't know, but I'm hoping what what I'm hoping for is that this is essentially like Breath of the Wild, but Wind Waker. I think Nintendo should be going hard on like boats and naval stuff for Breath of the Wild 2. I think um, Breath of the Wild 1 had shades of naval exploration. You had that that one island that took all, all your stuff away. Um, there were little islands scattered around on the outside of Hyrule that you could get on a raft and get to. But I think it would be really cool if Breath of the Wild 2 had a kind of iterated a bit more on that. And I think a good way of encouraging iteration on that would be to flood specific areas of Hyrule, kind of really force you to take a boat and sail 
long distances to different places and kind of evoke that spirit of Wind Waker, but in the world of Breath of the Wild, I think that would be very neat and cool. Um, but other than that, I don't really know what they can do with Breath of the Wild 2. I guess um, dungeons were something that were sorely lacking. Traditional dungeons were something that was sorely lacking in the first game. You had the shrines, of course, and then you had the the Divine Beasts, which were essentially dungeons, but it was only four dungeons, and they were all relatively similar um, in terms of aesthetics. And then you also had Hyrule Castle and the dungeons underneath that, which was really cool. More stuff like that would be awesome. More traditional Zelda dungeons in the style of Breath of the Wild would be very cool. We're about seven minutes off. Oh, I could go all day to theorizing about Breath of the Wild, baby. Um, Breath of the Wild 2. Also, we're probably going to hear um, the title, the new title of Breath of the Wild 2. I doubt it's going to be called Breath of the Wild 2. Even direct sequels in Legend of Zelda, with the exception of Zelda, Legend of Zelda 1 and Legend of Zelda 2 for the NES, with the exception of those, even direct sequels have different names, like A Link to the Past, and there was A Link Between Worlds, um, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. Wind Waker and Phantom Hourglass. Um, so, but I, I think there will, I think it'll still retain um, elements of the original game's title. It'll either be like Breath of the Something or Something of the Wild, Breath of the End, because we're kind of having a bit of a an apocalyptic tone with Ganon returning and maybe with the uh, Hyrule fundamentally changing. Um, I don't want to speculate too much because I'm probably going to sound like a complete idiot when the title is something completely different. Um, again, I, I've, I've already stated in this pre-show, I don't believe we're seeing the Switch Pro today or the Switch Plus, new Nintendo Switch. They have specifically stated they are focusing on uh, software today, uh, which leads me to think, hey, we know. We know what you're thinking. We know. We know you know about the Switch Pro. We're not saying anything about it today. You know, which... To me, is an admission that, you know, there is indeed a Switch Pro plus new Nintendo Switch, whatever you want to call it, on the way, but we're not seeing it today. Um, but I do absolutely think we're seeing Breath of the Wild 2. I know it's a bit weird because, um, as I said earlier, Breath of the Wild 2 is kind of the, the showpiece game for the Switch Pro. You don't show one without the other, but I think people are so hungry for Breath of the Wild 2 information I think it's been so long since the announcement. It is time. Today is the day you drop the title. You show us a, a trailer for the new Breath of the Wild game. I appreciate the comments on the drip. You know I had to represent the red tie. Um, today is a big special day. It's Nintendo. Things could go terribly wrong. They could just drop Arms 2 and nothing else. But here's hoping we get Breath of the Wild 2. Metroid Prime 4, at least Metroid Prime Trilogy on Switch. Um, we could see the, the rumored Donkey Kong game that's being worked on by the Odyssey team. Um, maybe a substantial Animal Crossing update to get everyone who loved that game at launch back in. We got a new Smash Bros. character, Sakurai, just moments before um, I went live, tweeted that we should watch this, um, this direct so there will absolutely be Super Smash Bros. Ultimate news. Maybe not even one, not, maybe not just one character reveal, but two. Crossing my fingers for Dante from Devil May Cry. Um, but I'm open to anything they've got. I'm at the point with Smash where I am satisfied with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's roster. When they added Joker from Persona 5, I'm like, you know what? They could just end it here and I'd be a happy boy. But, you know, they got tons of, they got Dante. They got Crash Bandicoot. They got even like um, new Nintendo characters. They got like, you know, um, Sword and Shield Pokemon they could be adding. There's so many op options. I'm just going to keep an open mind and accept whatever they've got going on. You know, I, they've satisfied me plenty. Let's, let's, let's trust Sakurai. Let's trust the team at Sora Limited and see what they have in mind. Uh, let's see what their vision for the future of Smash Bros. Ultimate looks like. Oh, we're about three minutes away, ladies and gentlemen and NBs. I'm feeling good about this direct. There's a lot, there's a lot they could show. There's a lot they could not show. 
I don't want to, I don't want to set myself up for disappointment here. I know I got the drip. I know I prepared myself mentally for a lot going on, but let's be real. Like I said, like I've been saying this whole pre-show, they got a lot of balls in the air. Let's see which ones they catch. Let's see which ones they leave in the air and which ones they drop on the floor. I'm hoping bases are loaded. You know, most of E3 has been disappointed so far. All everyone's hopes are lying on Nintendo to save us, to bring us to salvation. Bases are loaded. They got their trusty wooden slugger. Let's see if they hit a grand slam. I think I think they can do it. Today's the day. It's been a long time since we've heard um, since we've had a major Nintendo Direct. And again, I don't want to set us up and come out of this feeling sad because they didn't show Metroid Prime 4 or Donkey Kong or whatever, or they announced another Fire Emblem character for Smash. I'm, To be honest, I'm just happy to be celebrating Nintendo with the boys, girls, and NBs in the chat, in the archives. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Um, you know, most of most of what we can say is purely speculation, and that's why this show is so excited. It's so so exciting. We're gonna get a lot of questions answered about the future of Nintendo in 2021 and 2022. You know, we don't really know what the slate is beyond Skyward Sword HD and Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes and Legends Arceus. There's a lot of uncertainty. In the land of Nintendo. Oh yeah, we'll probably get a, a, a launch trailer for Mario Golf that's coming soon. Was just editing my GameStop TV video. I don't know if I can say that, but I'm I'm doing that. Uh, <laughs> um, for Mario Golf. Um, we'll probably get a launch trailer for Mario Golf. Um, but aside from you know Mario Golf, Pokemon, and Skyward Sword HD, not a lot we know. Not a lot we know. So I'm just excited to see what the hell Nintendo has been up to, what the hell we're going to be playing in the near future, in the far future. Um, and I know Metroid Prime 4 seems like a pipe dream because they, they canceled it and then they rebooted it. Um, you know, they gave it, they were doing their weird piecemeal development production cycle. And then they said, screw that. We're giving it to retro. Um, a lot of time has passed since they announced that. So I don't think it's unreasonable to think that perhaps we could get a glimpse of what Retro has been working on. Uh, um, Wario, oh, um, WarioWare is apparently, there was a survey that went out. I don't know to who, but there was a survey asking about interest in War a WarioWare game for Nintendo Switch. So I think it's entirely possible we also get an announcement for WarioWare. I think it's going to be called Switched. Because they kind of like to be cute, you know, tie into the hardware. Um, oh, you would love, I love, I would love to see a WarioWare game put on Switch. You'd love to see it. Um, but now, any second now, this show is beginning. It is 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. The bells are tolling. Oh, we're in. We're in. Let's, let's see what Nintendo's got for us, everyone. Let's see what treats they got in the cookie jar let me know if it's a little loud all right i got a little more crank than usual this time hello everyone i'm shina takahashi and that's I'll be your guide for today's um, nintendo direct the project lead for odyssey hello, I'm Yoshi yeah koizumi he he led odyssey as well so the nintendo switch system is now in its fifth year and many people around the world are playing games on it. Nintendo Switch is being Nintendo enjoyed Switch by has a games. wide range of players spanning all ages. So playing Final Fantasy VIII. Levels of gaming experience. Let's see that collection get put on there. All very much. All right. Good to hear. We've been able to offer a wide variety of games on the system, not just from Nintendo, but also from our many development and publishing partners. I Might see some rabbits as well today. This Nintendo Direct will be able to find a game that suits your personal tastes. Then bringing up third party, today, Ubisoft just announced a new Mario Rabbids game. Coming Nintendo Switch games, and we'll be focusing on a selection of games releasing this year. They're focusing on stuff this year, but that doesn't mean there won't be okay, heavy hitters. To begin, 
please take a look at this. Like I said, there's a lot we don't know aside from Pokemon and Skyward Sword HD coming this fall. This is Smash, I'm guessing. Ganondorf. Is that Sagat? No! Oh, it's Heihachi, I think. This is Tekken! This is Tekken! This is the ending of Tekken 1, right? Yeah! Yeah! Kazuya! Hell yeah! Bring a Tekken in? Oh, that stage! Oh, that's 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 good. A little disappointed it's not Kiryu, but we got Tekken. We got Tekken. We got Street Fighter. We got King of Fighters. All we need is like Soul Calibur and Virtual Fighter. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if we're gonna get Heihachi too as an Echo. Holy sh... This is dark? Oh my god, this is killing everybody! <laughs> oh! The OP guy! <laughs> From Tekken 7! See him at Evo! <laughs> so cool to have some Tekken rep in this. Yeah. Maybe he's uh, just a stage thing. Would like to see Heihachi in as well. Oh, the announcer! Dude, Tekken 7 is so good. That was a Sakurai. That was Sakurai. He was like, I want Tekken in. Kirby can float. He's going to come back up, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I will accept that. Hello. I'm Masa oh, that suit! Sora Limited, and the director of the Super On Smash Sakurai Sora and Kazuya. Kazuya Mishima. You think I got the drip? Sakurai. Sakurai's showing up. Surprise. I'll go over the details at a later Yeah, Nintendo day. already won. For today, the Halo Infinite, Battlefield, you know, your Starfield, you're cool, but like, Super Smash Brothers got Kazi and Smash, baby, it's got Tekken! <laughs> Off to a good start. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people are disappointed by this, but the people who know, no. You know, the people who like, who know Tekken, this is, this is hype. This is a good pick. This is a good common sense pick. It's not blowing my mind, but it's a good common sense pick that I'm excited to try out. Dude, imagine um, a four player match with um, Kazuya, Ryu, um, Terry, <laughs> and Ken, you know? Like, that'll be really fun. Like, We never got Tekken Cross Street Fighter, and now we have it. You know? It's like Tekken. No, it's Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I'll talk about the fighter more in a future presentation. Because didn't we get the um, we have to record it one time. crossover uh, Tekken Street Fighter game, and then they were going to make the another one, and it never Stay happened? Tuned. So now we kind of got that. That's a real. I'm, I'm excited. Thank you, for that. Mr. Sakurai. Did we get a date on that? I was kind of too excited. I didn't notice. A new fighter, Kazuya. Will join the fight in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. That's so cool. Please look forward to seeing how Kazuya. We're probably gonna get a full gameplay reveal later. Battles across the Tekken series will fight in this game. All right, let's continue. Dude, with Devil the first Form is batch awesome. Of Nintendo Switch headlines. Headlines. Oh, is this the Life is Strange? Matter in these emotional supernatural tales. Or no, I saw. Uh. <laughs> this is Lighthouse Supernatural. The music is very Life is Strange, but is this Life is Strange? Is this like a Switch? Like a sp yeah? What the hell? What's going on here? Whoa! From True Colors. 
So it's like a Life is Strange crossover game? Or just, okay, maybe it's just saying, hey, all these games are coming to Switch. Yep, cool, cool. It'd be, I thought I was like, yo, I'm kind of down for like a spin-off, <laughs> spin-off, uh, like crossover game. True Colors looks fun. Maybe not fun. <laughs> fun might be the wrong word. But hey, coming to more platforms, always a welcome sight. I'm feeling strange, true positive. Colors. Yeah, like I said, like that visual, Switch, that visual art style yeah. would totally work if they wanted to do like a spinoff. Switch later this year. There's something for everyone on the Guys, Nintendo Switch system. It's got a little something for everyone. You are That's Star -Lord. coming to Switch. Leading a legendary band of heroes for hire in this thrilling action. I think they announced this yesterday that it was coming to Switch, and it kind of just didn't sink in. Opponents with Star Lord's daring combat style. Oh, you know what? It's probably a. It's probably the cloud version. It's probably a cloud version. You'll call the shots for the unpredictable guardians as you face cosmic. My guess is that they're doing a cloud version. You got this, probably. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy blasts onto Nintendo Switch October 26th. Worms everywhere. Oh, yeah, this is the the 3D computer. action game. You'll squish your invertebrate opponents in 32 No, never mind, not 3D. Platform combat. Play in daily challenges, battle modes, and seasonal events to worm your way up the ring. Yeah, either that's the cloud version or that's a Switch Pro game. The Guardians of the Galaxy. For free for 2 weeks after launch. There's no way that's running on with Worms Rumble. Original Nintendo Switch June 23rd. Hardware. Get a 25% discount. So like I said, either that's either cloud or it's Switch Pro. Nintendo eShop. Oh, that's today. Nice. The fantastical hmm. realm of Orcanon awaits. As you Very Dragon's Crown. Painted world, you'll customize a team of demigods and unleash devastating attacks and captivating Little framey. based combat. Astria Ascending launches on Nintendo Switch September 30th. Hey, there's this. Return to the funny Speaking of Two Point Campus. World of Two Point County. In the wholesome management sim Two Point Campus, you'll build and run your very own university the way you want it. Two Point Hospital Lots was fun. I enjoyed playing that. To make the school yours and take your educational empire to the next level. Enrollment for Two Point Campus starts on Nintendo Switch next this year. This would be good to have on the go. A oh, Monkey Ball. This got announced uh, yesterday, I think. This year. Like a Super Monkey Ball um collection or something it's like a remaster or a remake that's funny you know shout out stanley kubrick but he didn't make monkey ball so like nah. yeah, i think it's like a remastered collection yeah this is super monkey ball 2 gang whoa are they all coming to Switch? I didn't really read too much about the news, so... I think it might be all the games just... Or maybe it's just an... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like a remake! God damn! Like, that's not just remastered. That's, like, new textures and lighting. Yeah, this is a feel-good moment. Good to just have it, you know? I wonder if it's got gyro controls. That'd be pretty cool. Rolls onto Nintendo Switch October 5th. One of the few games I'm like, yeah, why not do gyro controls? It's a blast from parties past. Is this coming to run? Switch? Ready for another round of Mario Party Mayhem? Of course you are. It's a superstar collection of Mario Party what? boards and mini games. Oh my god, like an all-stars? Live it up on five classic boards from the Nintendo Yo! Birthday cake. Oh, that's a good one, Nintendo One E Three Bay. Oh, Spaceland, that's such a good one. Guaranteed to keep you on your toes, and when we say zany, we mean it. They just won E Three. Jump, connect blocks. This and give facelifts. Dude, over the top mini games, all of which support button controls. With 100 mini games from the catalog, you'll have a blast in this All Star Fun Fest. Here's a little party favor. All game modes work with online play. Yeah, online from the jump. Even if you're partying solo, you can randomly match with other party. You can play with the randoms. Playing a board game online with friends? 
save your progress mid game dude they're doing it they are saying all the right things right now the festivities stickers are also available to communicate with others it's time to party in mario party coming out in october on the nintendo switch system october 29th pre-orders begin to me this is like this is like a remit like kind of just like an all-star collection of mario party i think before that's show this next that's fucking trailer, awesome i'd like to say one thing currently we're working hard on the latest game in the metroid prime series got metroid prime 4 okay which we previously acknowledgement announced. but today we'd like to introduce another new entry in the metroid franchise please take a look what what new metroid that's not prime 4 What the fuck? <laughs> is this like in the original canon? Is this a 2D game? I think this is going to be a 2D game. Like looking at these hallways. Yeah, like look at that where what Samus is walking on. She's on like a, a very clearly like 2D. Audio's a little desync, but that's okay. Yeah! This looks awesome! It's like a direct sequel to, like, it looks like, I'm getting, like, fusion vibes. Just... Oh my god! Nintendo won! A new 2D Metroid for Switch? Yes, please. Nintendo. Nintendo's bringing the heat. I told y'all, just because they're focusing on stuff coming out this year doesn't mean they don't got some, some heavy hitters and big boys. Woo! Woo! Yo, this is cool. Like, this is coming out this year. Dude. Metroid Dread. Yeah, baby. Trailer for the first new 2D Metroid game oh. in 19 years. Oh. A brand new Metroid Dread game. Oh. As the name Dread implies, this is a Metroid game with a new feel showcasing a variety of threats that Samus will encounter. It's scheduled to be released on October 8th. Visually, not super impressive, but it's 2D Metroid, so I don't care. Oh. See, like, that suit looks like the fusion suit. Am I wrong? The blue? Dude. Oh. They won. They won E3. These familiar franchises are back on Nintendo Switch. Like, just pound... Uh, oh. Just pound for pound, they are killing it right now. Remix, 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 remix. Okay, maybe I should just mute it. I don't, uh, eh, it's probably not gonna go on for that long, but okay, never mind. It's still going. All right, well, uh, shit. Uh, Metroid Prime, or not Metroid Prime, Metroid Dread. That's so cool. It's not Metroid Prime. It's just like mainline Metroid game. That's so cool. Oh, here we go. I don't know if I can still do this, but more racing games can't say no. Probably not gonna play it though. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am very curious. I really hope that Metroid game is good. That's uh, that's a big deal. I did not expect that when they said like, "Hey, we're not doing Metroid Prime," but I was like, "Oh, maybe it's Metroid Prime Trilogy." It's like, no, a full new Metroid game. Oh no. Relive the story of Goku and other I've heard this game is kind of mid. Sagas in this action RPG. Saiyan, protect the earth from an invasion by Vegeta and Nappa. 
Frieza take a stand against the evil emperor. Like they could end the show here and I'd be like, yeah. Battle they won. <laughs> in a fight to the death. I got Tekken and Smash, Majin Buu, Mario Party All Stars, with the most and a new Metroid world. game. Along with the main like, story, pack it up, go home. <laughs> we did it. Hey, why not help out the locals or collect ingredients for delicious meals? You could always train to acquire new skills too. I've never really been super into Lots Dragon Ball though. Yeah. You busy. The boss More of a Naruto guy myself. Awakens, parts one and two is also included. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot plus a new Power Awakens set punches its way. Narrator is hyped. Switch September twenty fourth. Hey. Club and get ready to tee off. Launch trailer. The Mario Golf Super Rush game launches or launch soon. Launch whatever. Here's a quick glimpse into each of the modes. Standard golf. Take your time to read the wind and terrain. I just realized after this, now I'll be able to download this and use it as B-roll. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I've been playing Toadstool Tour. Um, just to warm up, and it's so fun. Chase after it. Be the first to get your ball in the hole. Outpace your rivals with special dashes. Speed golf is going to be so stressful. Duke it out over nine flag marked holes in an obstacle filled arena. Like I just I'm just getting stressed looking at this. Golf adventure. Go from rookie to pro. This looks fun. The story mode. The golfing challenges that await may surprise Whoa, you. Whoa, like AoE attacks? What the hell is going on? And here's Yo! Free updates are planned for future release. Look at this! Courses and playable characters. Dude, seriously. So set your new new strikers and sluggers, I'd be soy face and hard. There's actually a huge segment in my GameStop video about Mario Sluggers. I'm like, we gotta no one talks about this game. We gotta talk about this game. Ready for the ride of a lifetime? This game looks to the looks jolly. World of Monster Hunter. I've just, I've just been playing Dragon Quest XI, so the idea of uh, getting into another big RPG does not sound fun right now. Like, I'm good. I'm good. I got my thing right now. I got my thing. But it's cool that they implement Monster Hunter elements to it. Where, like, parts can break and you gather materials and stuff like that. To fight. You'll team up with your that Diablo armor. And use weapons and skills to overwhelm enemy monsters in turn-based battles. Win, and you'll be rewarded with their materials, which can be forged into. I wish Rise armor. looked like this. I love this art style for Monster Hunter. Is that an egg? You might be able to hatch a new monsty. I love how they're called monsties. Monsties can also hatch from rare eggs. Need more traveling buddies? Like Capcom didn't need to do a show yesterday. They could have just battles. done this shit here. Buckle up, Ryder. Like, it's going to be a real monster of an adventure. Like, I don't know why they did their own show. They could have just shown Monster Hunter and Ace Attorney here, announced the Resident Evil DLC at, like, Xbox. Like, I don't, I, I don't know. Free demo is hype, though. Here's a new game from the Here we go, WarioWare. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Did you miss me? Hey? What do you mean? Who am I? It's a me. Wow. That's WarioWare. Yeah. That's WarioWare design. Ready. A brand new game from my company. Check it out. Yeah. To control me. Time to do this. Yeah. Hell yeah. Look at me go. Quack rats. Does it have a, a birds and beans or whatever it's called? That's the best WarioWare game. Throw that stick thing. Hmm, not the bad. Use the spinny what you might call it. Ha! Nailed it. Same micro game, different abilities. I wonder if it's using the uh, touch screen. Two people can play together. Nice. 
So play nice, or else. <laughs> this is a feel-good moment. Nice. All right, you. Today yes, has been a day of feel-good moments. Better get ready for some micro game mayhem. <laughs> Get it together. Mario Wear Get It Together game launches exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system September 10th. Pre-orders begin today. September 10th, Nintendo baby. Dude, so much shit coming out this year. What you just it went from nothing to all of a sudden I don't even know what to get. Get it together. In the latest installment of this series, there are new micro games Like, this is what I was talking about in the pre-show. Like, so much of this year was still up in the air. And now they're just like... Yeah, now you have a non-stop supply of games this fall. Next, please take a look at this. You know it's serious when they don't even, like, prep it. They're just like, hey. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah, baby. This one's for me. Fairly normal. Yes. Give me a date. Give me a date. Shin Megami Tensei 5. But that reality is upended after you get pulled into a different Fuck dimension. yes. Oh, my God. I'm sweating. I'm like gonna cry. I'm so excited for this game. Holy shit. Apocalyptic world where angels and demons reside. Nocturne is so good. Suddenly, you fuse with the Dude, look at this guy. Figure, gaining the power to fight demons. What lies ahead in this Dude. realm? <laughs> is that all we're getting? I want more. Oh, yes, more. Look at look at this! Into a sprawling, Dude, wasteland. this looks so good. This is Switch Pro. This is Switch Pro. Holy shit! And will attempt to destroy oh my God, this looks great! To fight using a this and looks amazing. By targeting it, the number of consecutive actions. You yeah, it's not turn. It's not turn system. Which I know is just Shin Megami Tensei, but still. Formidable opponents introduced in Nocturne. You may be able to recruit them via negotiations, which begin look at this. To open a look at these environments. Yep, negotiation. Ready to trade life stones forever. A demon will be. They'll be like, "Y'all join you, uh, maybe if you give me a life stone." And then you give them a life stone. Cases, they're just like, oh, nice. Uh, I don't want to join you. Here's a life stone. Like, they may feel motivated and join you as an ally. But God damn. Demons that do join will fight along. This this is Switch Pro. Stronger. This has got to be. By fusing demon allies, another demon. Can yeah. Be the newly fused demons' innate abilities will vary, granting you a powerful ally. Customized to your needs and play style. Dude, dude, this is so sick. This post apocalyptic world. Oh my god. This character, the character designs. What destiny will you choose? Yes! Megami Tensei 5 will launch exclusively. We got a date. Pre-orders for the physical version begin Ooh, June hoo, 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 hoo. Getting the collector's edition, baby. That was the latest trailer for Shin Megami. Show Tensei me that physical edition. Atlas. This is the newest game in the series. Please look forward to future updates. Oh, I am. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. I was kind of hoping they'd be like, and speaking of Atlas, here's a Persona collection. It's like, oh, but no. That, that ain't happening. Despair. November! Ahem, ahem. Oh wait, these weren't on Switch? One, two, so are all the Danganronpa games gonna be on Switch now? That's pretty good. Those are perfect for Switch. Three games in the deadly nice! Collection. I think it might be time for me to get in then. 
Monokuma, the self-proclaimed school headmaster, has trapped you and other high school students. These games are perfect on Switch. Life and death. Would be perfect on Switch, I should say. The only way out of the school and this lethal game is to betray the Weren't they on Vita? At least like one and, and two so were, I think. <laughs> student meets their demise, a class trial will take place to reveal the culprit. You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? Telling you, I had no idea. They probably moved the body there. Use the evidence you've gathered to refute contradictions oh my God. and find the guilty party. Sneak attack. No, it's wrong. Are you okay? Shout out frame rate merch. <laughs> from Rampa, Whoa, what the hell? Has been expanded into a standalone game. Standalone game? Rampa S, Ultimate Summer Camp. An all star cast of characters from the Rampa series will come together to battle at a tropical <laughs> resort. Who's the strongest of the filler? Battle? Filler arc. Beach <laughs> Still looks cool. The four game Wait, so. Oh, it's Decadence part of Decadence. As a physical exclusive on hell yeah. Later this year. That's worth $60. Also be individually available on Nintendo e nice. That's, oh man. Fatal Frame? We hope you're not afraid of Is this Fatal Frame? Oh my God. What the hell? Is, is this new? Did we know about this? Did we already know about this? Adventure game. You'll uncover the mysteries. Fatal Frame on Switch? But deadly Mount Hikami. Believed to be at the center of many disappearances. Ghosts Dude. Mountain, your only defense is a camera that can repel and cast them out. I hope this is Face good. As you explore a variety of unsettling locations. We need more this high budget horror games. Protagonists, letting we you need to wake Konami up. Perspectives. <laughs> we, we need to awake the sleeping movies. dragon. Can you investigate Mount Hikami? And stay alive. Fatal Dude, Fruit. this Fatal year. Black Water creeps onto Nintendo Switch nice. this year. These games, games and DLC, DLC coming, coming soon. soon. Some even today. Shadow Drops? Your oh, the DLC, nice. Over. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> in this already? For Doom Eternal, the Ancient Gods Part 1. Oh, it looks so not... It looks not as good as uh, the con the other console versions. As you eliminate Hell's newest threats. But hey, at least it's there. Ruins and rain swept terrain. Imagine playing this with Joy-Con drift. Cosmos is in your hands. Get slaying when this campaign expansion launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Yeah, I guess it would help visibility, low res. Get ramped up for two nice. Skateboarding games fully nice. HD. This on Switch is feel good. Jams feel good moment. Tony Hawk and a roster of new and returning pros. Take your sessions on the go with all the original game modes, and compete locally or online to show off your tricks against other skaters. Drop into Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One and Two, launching on Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo. Wouldn't mind some DLC for that game. After oh, 4, years, at first I thought it was Kid Icarus. I'm like, what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> heroes can stop her. The strange brigade. Isn't this from the uh, Sniper Elite team? Or am I wrong? Blast through an army of mummified monstrosities while solving puzzles in booby-trapped dungeons. Go it alone or team up with other daring adventurers in local wireless co-op and online play. Expect the unexpected. When Strange Brigade launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Dude, I just want Kirby's Air Ride. Oh, Kirby Air Ride on Switch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said this was probably going to show up. Mario and his Put like every once again cult classic GameCube game, game on Switch. Pokemon Coliseum, XD, Kirby Air Ride. The universe into chaos. Put them all on Switch. Rabbit Rosalina joins them. Wait, is she bored already? Explore planets filled with quirky residents and even quirkier secrets. And in this fresh take First game is fun. Genre, our heroes can run freely around the battlefield, creating new strategic and chaotic possibilities. The reason I don't think Nintendo is going Port City is because there's just like, hmm, 
How do we mar how do we maximize the the marketing well, and profit thing, potential of these games? And they sit there forever thinking game. about how to capitalize on these games, and then nothing ever happens because they never figure out the answer. It's Nintendo like just Switch. put them on there. You don't have to do anything crazy. Oh, is this? What? <laughs> Finally! Finally we're bringing back Advance Wars. This was a long time coming. Thank Christ. Memorable characters and vibrant gameplay are in store as you lead the commanding officers to victory. I think people would have been fine if it stayed in pixel art, but that's awesome. That's a feel good moment. That's a feel good moment. How is everything? I'm just happy they did it. I don't All care right. if it's successful well, or not. We get sequels or whatever. Last announcement of the day. No, last announcement. Please take a look. Not introducing with Aonuma. Last announcement. That doesn't mean last thing they're showing, though. If they're ending on this, it'll be weird. <laughs> a playable guardian? Yeah, I... I hope this isn't the, the final... They said final announcement. It didn't seem like this is going to end the show, you know? If it does, it'll be weird. But this could be leading into... You know, this. they might be showing this, and it's like, hey, it's the Zelda segment now. Don't end here. We got it. We got to lead this. Into, we got to take this momentum and go into Breath of the Wild 2, man. We got to. Yes. Yes. Hello there. I'm A.G. Aonuma. We're doing it. Of the Legend of We're the doing it. Series. <laughs> We're doing it. What you've just seen is a trailer for the first wave of Come DLC. On for the I've met this man. I've shaken hands with this man. From Koei Tecmo Games. I said thank you for Breath of the Wild. Will follow Link and his allies through more battles that took place 100 years prior to the events of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I hope you'll look forward to it. He looked me in the eyes and said, I have a few more things. To I'm going to reveal you. Breath of the Wild 2 on June 15th, we'll 2021. With the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD game, which launches next month. Excited to get this. You'll immerse yourself in the role of good game, overhated, not perfect, but still a good Zelda game. Or by playing in hand worth hand playing. Wielding the sword via flicking the stick and button only controls. This game depicts the no, I actually said it in Japanese. I just understood because we had that mental link. What is the origin of the Master Sword? Why did a woman named Zelda become the legend for future generations? These will all be unraveled in this game. Oh, this is a good game. Uh, we hope you're I didn't mental link. Yeah, Zelda link. Skyward yeah. Sword HD. Excited, but next up. Ah, well, it's also the 35th anniversary this year. This is a game and watch system. So maybe we'll get some more ports besides Skyward series. Sword. This year, the original Legend of Please. Zelda game reaches its 35th anniversary. Yeah, we don't have I wouldn't be surprised if this is all they're doing for like, hey, 35th anniversary. We've been working on this Game and Watch system. But this is cool. Item to help mark the occasion. This is cool. On the I would consider getting this. Zelda. It will come with the first game in the series, The Legend of Zelda. Ooh, Zelda 2, has Zelda the 2 on it as well. And Link's Awakening. Of the Legend of Zelda That's Link's cool. Game, as well as a special hey. game watch title Vermin, starring Link as the playable character. 
So that's four games on one system. Nice. From longer Legend of Zelda games. To it's a pretty cute little. I think the Mario one is like forty bucks. Forty bucks. I'd In say this is. Regarding the watch functionality for the Game and Watch system, we've added a playable clock based on the Legend of Zelda. Yeah. And an interactive timer cool. named after Zelda Two: The Adventure of Link. Yeah, I believe the Mario edition of this Game and Watch was only like forty bucks, so I can see this being for forty bucks is not unfair for this. I think. Game and Watch system, whenever and wherever you'd like. It's a collector's item, you know, but like Eiji Onuma. All right, here's the last thing we have to show you. This is the sequel to the Legend of Zelda: yes. Breath of the Wild. Yes. Two years have passed since we yes. first announced this game, and we've been unable to share show me. in that time. <laughs> yeah. However, development has been steadily progressing. For today, oh. we've prepared some new footage to show a bit more of the game. Please take a look. Give me a title. I'm not even expecting this year. Just... I'm going to shut the fuck up. We're implementing Skyward Sword shit? Holy shit! Hey, wonder why they remastered Skyward Sword? I know I said I was going to shut up, but oh, what the fuck? We're live, right? You're seeing this, right? <laughs> Coming into the title. No title yet. They're keeping it close to the vest. It's like, we know something you don't. So, what did you think? This time around, the setting for the adventure has I been wanted a title. To include the skies above Maybe they'll the announce it later, but like... I'd like to ask you to wait a bit longer. We're aiming for a 2022 release, so I hope you'll look forward to it. Some tells me Switch Pro is 2022 then. How was that? That's all for this. That looks fucking event. amazing. We are diligently continuing so much cool new shit in that other games we didn't show today. I'm gonna run that back I hope you'll continue looking forward to what I'm gonna run that back when this is over Nintendo switch thank you for watching they won that's what I'm talking about it's what I've been waiting for all I've been waiting for was just something like that. Oh yeah, it's Treehouse. Hi everyone, I'm Doug Bowser from um, Nintendo of America. And I'm here with I don't know if I can, I can rewind. Um, I'm gonna play that back. Jesus Christ. I kind of short-circuited there. So, okay. We're running this back. Dude, I gotta, I gotta pause on, um... Punished Link. Okay, so like... Oh, whoops. Rewind. Like, um... Like, is that Ganon? Is that... Because that was in the first trailer. So I think that's Ganon. Looking sick. Looking, like, legit intimidating. Cause this is like Calamity Ganon shit. Yeah, I wonder if like, yeah. To me, this implies no playable Zelda, unfortunately. Like, I feel he's like, ah, oh, I don't know where, look at this, look at, look at this. Look at, look at this. They know this evokes Skyward Sword, but like, look at Link's, the new outfit for Link. The, oh, the green, like, oh, the green, like scarf. What's what's up with his arm? Look at his arm. 
what's going on there? He's like corrupted. Like some uh some Dark Souls shit. Look at this shit. It could be a glove, but I think it's his actual arm. Yeah, there's his uh, champion's tunic. So this is on like mainland Hyrule. So I think it's going to be both Hyrule, mainland Hyrule, and the skies above. Look at this. Like the stone columns. Because like he doesn't use the, uh, the Sheikah Slate anymore. He just uses his hand. Like, look at- what is this ability all about? You can go, like, through solid objects? Look at this, dude. Look at this! You're gonna have to play this backwards. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so I wonder if Hyrule Castle is just going to be chilling there in the middle again this time. Dude, I just... What the hell? But yeah, um... Oh, fuck. A lot to talk about. I'm glad I wore the suit. It was worth it. Um, We got Tekken and Smash with Kazuya and the stage. We got a Super Mario. We got a Mario Party All Stars game on Switch, with like classic stage, like classic boards and mini games. WarioWare, Breath of the Wild Two. Oh my God, Monkey Ball, Metroid. Almost forgot about Metroid Dread. Hell of a show. Shin Megami Tensei 5? With a date? In November? Danganronpa? And Fatal Frame? Fuck. Advanced Wars remakes? Game of the sh or show of the show. <laughs> this is clearly the best presentation. They showed up and they had a reason to show up. Unlike some other people like uh, Gearbox and, you know... And Capcom, they they showed up with purpose today, and they gave us real, meaningful shit we could sink our teeth into. That was my main complaint with Microsoft, was that, okay, we got some exciting announcements that will come to fruition later, like Redfall from Arcane and Starfield, but there's nothing to sink our teeth into. We don't know what we're actually doing in this game. Um, but here, it's like, we got actual gameplay from Shin Megami Tensei 5. We got actual gameplay from Breath of the Wild 2. We got actual gameplay from Metroid Dread. We're announcing games and showing why you should give a shit. And that's what Microsoft was missing. And that's why this was the best show of E3. It's like not only did they show shit we wanted to know about, they showed shit we didn't know about. And then when they did, they gave us a reason to give a shit. Hell of a show. Hell of a show. Shin Megami Tensei 5. Looking great. No Switch Pro news. Um, a little sad that Breath of the Wild 2 is 2022, but take your time. COVID's affected everything. Um, but yeah, I think it's fair to say that like Switch Pro news are probably coming relatively soon. If, um, if it's not till 2022, then I would say... By the end of the year, we will know about the Switch Pro, <laughs> which I know is a very wide range of time. But um, I think Breath of the Wild was Breath of the Wild Two is always going to be the uh, showpiece for that game. Uh, but then again, Shin Megami Tensei Five, Shin Megami, Shin Megami Tensei Five was looking great. That looked really good visually, and I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But other than that. Ladies, gentlemen, and NBs, that has been Nintendo's E3 2021 Direct. I mean, that's like a 9 or a 10 out of 10. Like, only thing holding it back from a 10 was um, there was still stuff they could have shown. 
We didn't see any Splatoon 3, which I'm shocked we didn't see. We didn't say see, see Bayonetta 3. Where the hell is that game? Um, no Metroid Prime 4. Uh, an acknowledgement is nice, but I really want to see that game. Um, but like they said, for what this was going to be mostly 2021 games and they accomplished what they set out to do with this direct. And for that, like they nailed it, you know, like that's a 10 out of 10, you know, they didn't show anything that they accomplished their goal and they did it. They went above and beyond accomplishing their goal. Um, they went from, I don't know what the hell there is aside from Mario golf and, um, skyward sword and pokemon to just like holy shit like i'm gonna have an on a non-stop supply of great games to play so in that regard they went above and beyond um expectations and their goal so my personal rating nine out of ten um i thought that was a great great show um is it up there in the pantheon of the best? Time will tell. Um, we'll have to look back on this and see what the general consensus is. Because just because I thought it was amazing doesn't mean the whole world thought it was amazing. But I think, how can you watch that and not be thrilled at at least something they showed? Um, yeah. Like, I, I rated like Ubisoft, like a, I would rate Ubisoft like a five. If that, Square Enix like a three. Xbox like a seven. I give this a nine. I give this a a big fat <laughs> a strong nine to a light ten in Anthony Fantano terms. But yeah, that's gonna do it. I, I gotta get back to work. I got projects due today. So um I hope everyone enjoys their post show coverage from other channels. Uh we still got Bandai Namco later today. Might see some new Elden Ring news there. Um I don't know what the hell they got planned, but I hope it's good. Probably not going to top this, though. Um, but yeah, this has been an amazing show, and I can't wait to talk about this in future conversations all throughout the year with all this information in mind. It feels good to have this information in my brain now. Um, this is going to set the stage for the rest of the year, the, the way we talk about the rest of the year. And that's so, so cool. So yeah. Like I said, if you're watching this live, thank you very much. I appreciate my live audience very, 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 very much. Um, my excitement definitely feeds off having a crowd. Um, for watching the archive, thank you very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope something didn't tremendously fuck up in the export or uh, <laughs> whatever process. Hope Twitch didn't mute me to hell. But with all that said, thank you very much. That is the end of my E3 2021 coverage. It's been an honor. See you next time. Stay tuned.